Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is uh, why you are the one for your future spouse. Before I start the reading for your pile number one, I would like to thank your guides and my guides for being here. Thank you pile number one's guides and my guides. So, yeah, let me start the reading. Uh, before I start the reading, I would like to say something. Before I started recording for you pile number one, there were some interruptions. So, things might be delayed or some kind of interruptions might happen before you meet your future spouse. That is something I'm getting. So yeah, let me start shuffling the card for you, pile number one. Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Okay, I'm not going to take two cards at once. That's not how I do the readings. I'm going to take one card at a time. So yeah, give me one card at a time, spread. Why is pile number one the one for pile number two? Uh, sorry, pile number one's future spouse. Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Okay, wow. No, 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 no. Give me one card at a time, spirit. Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is pile number one the one for pile number one's future spouse? Why is okay? Yeah. Let me show you guys the cards first. Sorry, I'm sweating a bit. Okay, sorry. Uh, seven of cups is the first card that you guys got. Second card is the magician card and uh, the third card is the five of wands fourth card is the four of cups and the fifth card is the five of swords so you guys got the seven of cups the magician card and uh, the five of wands four of cups and the five of swords okay pile one what I'm getting right off the bat for you guys is that your future spouse or your spouse who you're going to marry in the future loves your competitive nature. They think that's extremely attractive. They think it's S-C-X-Y. I can't say the word I think. So because of YouTube restrictions. But I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. Your guys are extremely attractive when you are competitive so your spouse okay 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 i'm getting a vision that uh two women are getting into a cat fight and a guy is cheering from the sidelines so your future spies uh, sorry future spouse i'm so sorry future spouse might do that they might like to see you guys get into a cat fight i don't know why that is but they think that's attractive and yeah and next what i'm getting is they like the fact that you guys have a lot of options when it comes to uh, people you can date or marry but you choose them you choose to be with them and you choose to be loyal to them and that's something they find attractive and that's the reason they think you are the one for them because you could have had anyone you wanted but you choose to be with them and stay loyal to them they also love the fact that you guys might do a uh, law of attraction or some kind of rituals to attract abundance or wealth or something like that. And they think that's extremely attractive. That is also something why they think you are the one. I think your spouse might be someone who's interested in law of attraction and mystical stuff. So they like that too. Another thing that I'm getting is 
I hope you guys can see clearly. In the magician card, you can see an infinity symbol. So you guys might, not for everyone, you guys might be marrying your divine counterpart or someone you have had past lives with or some kind of connection that goes beyond explanation. You guys have been together for infinity, eternity, whatever you want to say. So yeah, your connection is internal. That is something I'm getting. And um, they love that you guys, some of you guys might be, don't be offended when I use this term, you guys might be witches. Some people do not like to use that term. So, yeah. So, you guys might practice magic. magic. So, yeah. Your future spouse loves that. Another thing that I'm getting is, uh, they love when you guys pout. When you guys pout or make sad faces. Your future spouse is a little bit strange though. They love when you guys get into a cat fight and uh, competitive they also love that when you guys make uh, that puppy dog face so they can never say no to your puppy dog face basically i see a um, girl or a woman uh, having her, their arms crossed i'm having a vision of it and they are making a pout and the guy is unable to say no to them and they end up giving in to them so that could be you guys too that's how your dynamic might go or your relationship might be your future spouse cannot say no to you guys. And that's why they know you are the one. And they also love the fact that though you guys are competitive. Um, sorry. When you guys get competitive, you guys know how to win. That you guys always end up winning one way or another. It might seem sometimes like you guys are going to lose. But you guys end up winning. And that is something attractive to your future spouse. I think your future spouse might be someone who is extremely competitive. So they also love someone who is also competitive like that. So yeah, that's something I'm getting. Uh, you guys might like white lilies, uh, red roses. And uh, yeah, so yeah, you guys might like red roses, white lilies. Flowers might be something you guys love or you guys could be into gardening. And uh, yeah. You guys might like to do gardening. You guys also might like to wear jewelries like gold jewelries, pearls, etc. I think you guys like to look good. So you guys dress up a lot. So you guys like to look after your appearance and stuff like that. You like to invest in yourself. That's something I'm hearing. Another thing that I'm getting is uh, you guys might look extremely attractive when you wear red dress in particular or some kind of uh, bright colors like red, orange, stuff like that. Yeah, you guys look attractive when you guys wear that. Another thing that I'm getting is when you guys meet your future spouse, you might not be expecting them. So they might come into your life unexpectedly. This is something that is being offered to you by your guides, your uh, by your guides and your, the universe. Uh, so yeah, you might meet your future spouse unexpectedly, and that's all I'm getting for you, pile one. I am. Um, that's all the messages that I'm getting for you. I hope you are feeling well and better wherever you are in the world, and. Thank you guys for watching. Hey Pile 2, I would like to thank your guides and my guides first of all. Thank you Pile 2 spirit guides and my spirit guides for being here. Okay, let me start the reading for you guys. Okay. Why is Pile number 2 the one for Pile number 2's future spouse? Why is Pile number 2 the one for Pile number 2's future spouse? Why is Pile number 2 the one for Pile number 2's future spouse? Why is pile number two the one for pile number two's future spouse? Why is pile number two the one for pile number two's future spouse? Why is pile number two the one for pile number two's future spouse? Why is pile number two the one for pile number two's future spouse? Why is pile number two the one for pile number two's future spouse? Mm. 
Y S M. Okay, I'm not gonna take two cards at once. Excuse me. <coughs> sorry. I'm feeling a bit under the weather, so sorry. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Why is pile number two the one for pile number two switches pause? Why is pile number two the one for pile number two switches pause? The cards aren't coming out easily. Why is pile number two the one for pile number two switches pause? You just must not be that expressive, I guess, because the cards aren't coming out that easily. Compared to pile one, though, pile one it was flying out. Why is pile number two the one for pile number two? You just pause. Come on, quick guys, give me one card at a time, please. Why is pile number two the one for pile number two? Oh, why is pile number two? The one for pile number two's future spots. Finally, finally, finally. <laughs> okay. Why is pile number two? Okay, 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 okay. One card at a time. Why is pile number two the one for pile number two's future spots? Why is pile number two the one for Pile number two's future spouse. Okay. Why is pile number two the one? Okay. Why is pile number two to the one? Okay, no, no, not make that many cards. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Give me a second. I'm so sorry, guys. Give me a second. Why is file number two the one for file number two's future spouse? Why is file number two the one for file number two's future spouse? Why is file number two the one for file number two's future spouse? Why is file number two the one for file number two's future spouse? One more card to go. Why is uh, pile number two the one for pile number two is future spouse? Why is pile number two the one for pile number two is future spouse? Why is pile number two the one for pile number two is future spouse? No, 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 not that many cards. Give me one card at a time, spread. I need just one more card. Why is pile number two the one for pile number two is future spouse? Okay, I can't show you guys one of the cards because of YouTube restrictions and guidelines. So, I will just say the name of the card. Okay. The first card that you guys got is the Justice. I hope it is clear. The second card that you guys got, I hope it won't be a problem, is the Devil card. Devil card, yeah. Second card is the Devil card, and the third card is the Queen of Swords, and the third card is the Empress. Uh, the sorry, uh, okay. First card is the Justice. Second is the Devil. The third is the Queen of Swords. The fourth is the Empress, and the fifth and the final card is the uh, Eight of Swords. Yeah, right, Eight of Swords. So yeah, you guys got the Justice, the Devil, the Queen of Swords, the Empress, and the Five of, sorry, not Five, Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, my bad, sorry, Eight of Swords. Okay, first things first, like I showed you guys the cards, you guys got the Devil card, obviously, and um, your future spouse is extremely attracted to you, quote, on the attractive part, especially, emphasize on the attractive part 
yeah they find it extremely attractive and that's why you are the one for them they have never felt this type of chemistry with anyone else okay 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 don't be offended or don't be like uh, i do not want that type of relationship but for some of you guys you guys might start as friends with benefits or one night stand something like that so yeah you might start off like that not for obviously not for all of you guys just take what resonates so you guys might start off like that so that's the reason why the relationship might start off so you guys might not even think of them as your future spouse or they might not even think of you as their future spouse but the relationship uh, continues to grow and evolve and then you guys might get married to each other okay i have got um another message that i'm getting after that is you guys are extremely uh, justice oriented you guys are cutthroat you guys are straightforward they love that your future spouse loves the fact that you are cutthroat you don't beat on on the bush you say what's on your mind you are in the type of person who will keep things hidden and who will not talk about things they might have come across partners who might say something but me might mean something else and they uh, might uh, get into a fight because of the miscommunication that happens in their relationship and your future spouse was tired of th those kinds of partner so you guys are an extremely different person compared to what they have dated and that is something uh, they admire and they like and that is why you are the one for them they also love the fact that you have this nurturing quality to you you guys are extremely nurturing protective and loving to the people that you care about um you guys have might have a close knit close knit or close group of friends you guys might not have a large group of friends you guys might only have a handful of friends that you trust especially i'm getting this is because not for obviously everyone but whoever has only a handful of friends something might have happened in your past where you guys were betrayed by someone someone made you feel like um they how do i put it like they made you see things through the uh, rose colored glasses basically they made you see whatever they wanted you to see they manipulated you and left you in the cold basically like this they made you feel like they are had uh control over you and they made you feel like uh calm. what's the term i'm getting i'm getting congested um yeah that's something i'm channeling they made you feel like uh, helpless basically they made you feel helpless like uh, you couldn't do anything on your own and everything should be dependent on them this could have been an, a romantic partner too this could be a friend family member whoever it is they made you feel uh, like you have to depend on them for every single thing you couldn't make a decision without them okay 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 okay, okay. another message i'm getting is uh, this whatever happened what i talked about just now this could have been a toxic partner of yours okay 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 so after you complete the cycle and end the cycle with this karmic partner that's when you might meet your future spouse that is also for some of you guys yeah for those of you who are not starting off as friends with benefits with your future spouse uh so you might have experienced betrayal and um uh you could have been with i don't want to use the term but yeah you could have been with someone who's narcissistic and someone who manipulated you and made you feel less than who you are i'm so sorry for you guys i really am i apologize i apologize for what you have gone through and i feel sorry that you had to go through that no one needs to go through something like that um but yeah and uh, it took you guys a long time to regain your self confidence and your self worth after that if you have gone through something like that but if it uh, if that does not resonate with you leave that message out so yeah you guys could be in the law sector like you could be a lawyer or something to do with a uh, law social activist you got your job involves um, some kind of law law or something related to law or justice oriented that is something i'm getting for you guys and another thing that i'm getting is 
you guys are you guys might um have uh some disagreements with your future spouse that's some something i'm getting regarding children one of you might not want to have children and the other person wants to have children okay do not be triggered on do not i do not mean anything by this but that's the message i'm getting okay so yeah so you, for example this is just an example don't be triggered or don't feel offended you guys might not want to have children because of what happened especially if you have gone through a narcissistic relationship and something happened there you might not want to have relationship uh, sorry not relationship you might not want to have children your future spouse might want children you guys might get into a disagreement and you guys might um go separate uh, go separate ways for some time and then get back together after that that's also something i'm getting your future spouse sees you as someone who could be a great mother that's the reason they want to have children with you they see a whole family with you yeah that's something i'm getting for you guys and uh, yeah you guys might have some self worth issues when you meet your future spouse but your future spouse sees you as someone who is so damn gorgeous that's something i'm getting you are so beautiful you are so gorgeous you guys might think you ugly or not attractive do not listen to anyone else you are attractive you are gorgeous always affirm in the positive sense do not put down your do not put yourself down i mean do not put yourself down and do not listen to naysayers because those people are jealous and they will say whatever they want to say and uh, yeah you guys might have a uh, children i mean you guys might have children in the future with your future if that is something you both want to have otherwise you could have pets or something like that so yeah you guys uh, the, these are the reasons why your future spouse thinks you are the one because you will be a great mother or great dad you guys i have gone through a lot especially when what i talked about if you are in a narcissistic relationship it took you a lot of effort and strength to come back from that they love your strength they love how much you have uh, uh, grown as a person over the years and they love the fact that you are cutthroat you are straight for you do not you do not hesitate to tell the people uh, what it is the way it is you guys are extremely straight forward and uh they also love the fact that you're justice oriented you believe in equal give and take you do not believe in uh in um injustice yeah you do not believe in injustice at all that's all i'm getting for you pile 2 i hope you are well wherever you are in the world and thank you guys for watching hey pile 3 i would like to thank your guys and my guys first of all for being here thank you file number 3 spirit cards and my guides for being here let me start shuffling the cards for you guys okay uh why will file number 3 is a future spouse think they are the one for them why is file number 1 the one for file number 3 is future spouse why is file number 3 the one for file number 3 is future spouse why is file number 3 the one for file number 3 is future spouse Why is pile number three the one for pile number three's future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three's future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three's future spouse? Why is pile number three the uh one for pile number three's future spouse? I'm so sorry. Give me a second. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Why is file number three, uh, the one for file number three future spouse? Why is file number three the one? Okay. I need another four more cards before I start the reading for you guys. Why is file number three the one for file number three future spouse? Why is file number three the one for file number three future spouse? Okay, okay. I'm not gonna take two cards at once. Why is pile number three the one for pile number three's future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three's future spouse? Okay, no, 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 no. Give me one card at a time, spirit. Why is pile number three the one for pile number three's future spouse? 
Why is pile number three the one for pile number three is future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three is future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three is future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three future spouse? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three is oh, okay, okay, you know that many cards, too many cards, too many cards. Why is pile number three the one for pile number three is future spouse? Why is pile number three okay? Why is pile number three the one for pile number three is future spouse? Okay. Let me show you guys the cards first. You guys got the uh, five of cups. Yeah. Then you guys got the judgment card. Then you guys got the strength card. Then you guys got the eight of wands. Yeah. Then you guys got the ace of wands. I hope everything was clear. Again, I repeat. Uh, five of cups, judgment card, strength card, and um, eight of wands, and the ace of wands. Okay. Okay, okay. What I'm getting right off the bat is huh? your future spouse loves your tenacious nature. They love how you don't back down when a challenge arises. They love how you go after what you want, no matter what obstacles that come your way. You guys aren't the type of person who backs down easily. You guys are stubborn as hell and you go after what you want. Another thing that I'm getting is huh? your Guides are extremely powerful. Your guides, your ancestors, whoever you believe in, they are extremely powerful and they are watching over this connection. Especially, I think your angels and archangels are watching over this connection. And um, you guys might be ending a cycle right now and beginning a new cycle. Yeah, that's something I'm getting. Uh, this cycle needs to end because of this um a particular thing that needs to come into your life something new will be coming into your life it could be a job or a partner or something and that's the reason why this cycle that you're currently in needs to end and uh, this ending is divinely um uh, guided yeah divinely guided it is and divine intervention basically okay 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 I don't know why this could be a specific message for someone who's watching pile 3. You guys might uh, be interested in architecture. Architecture basically like uh, old ruins, like uh, old buildings which are in ruins or something like that. You guys might be interested in something like that. So uh, yeah, your guides are saying that uh, you guys might meet your future spouse through somewhere uh, through uh, somewhere or some place where there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of ruins, like a building which has been destroyed or something like that, which is half built, half destroyed, something like that. You guys might meet somewhere like that, or your future spouse, or you guys might be an archaeologist or something, where you guys uh, research and work with archaeological things or old things so yeah you guys might have even a shop where they sell old things like i do not know remember that term for that specific term right now i can't remember it but where they sell antique yeah right got it antique things so you guys might work somewhere like that or you guys might meet at a store where they sell antique things like antique watches and stuff like that or you guys might meet in a building which is half destroyed and half constructed ruins or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that is something I'm getting. Uh, you guys might work as a nurse or doctor 
or um, you guys might meet your future spouse at the place which is like a, a clinic veterinary clinic hospital okay i do not mean uh, okay i'm not saying that you guys might be sick and that's how you meet but yeah you guys could be accompanying a friend or someone who could be sick and you guys end up meeting your future spouse who is a doctor something like that or they could also be someone who's accompanying a friend or some family member and what else your future spouse loves the fact that you guys are the only one who can tame them. They are like a ferocious lion. Nobody has been able to tame them. But one look at you and they are like a puppy. Basically, yeah, they are like a puppy. Um, so yeah, you can tame them. You guys are the only one who has that power over them. And another thing that uh, I'm getting is, this is also something I got in pile one, this specific message. Uh, I hope you guys can see this clearly. As you can see, there is an infinity symbol on top of the woman who is caressing or uh, petting the lion. So yeah, so you guys might have been with your future spouse for a really long time before you get married to each other or you guys could be past life, um, yeah, past life lovers and stuff like that. You guys could have been together for many past li lifetimes. And you guys are coming together once again. Okay. And uh, another thing that I'm getting is. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You guys might receive a uh, news of something. Like a uh, good news basically. Now, some kind of good news. Within the next 8 days or 8 weeks. That is a specific thing that I'm getting. Uh, uh pertaining to you meeting your future spouse or something related to your future spouse so yeah that is something i'm getting you guys might get some kind of information about you guys meeting your future spouse within the next eight weeks or eight days or something related to your future spouse or some kind of meeting with your future spouse or it could just be a uh, good news which is uh isn't related to your future spouse at all too yeah you guys have been manifesting something yeah for some of you guys you guys are manifesting something but before that manifestation comes in you guys need to let go of something basically you guys need to have a tower moment where the old crumbles and falls away so that uh, the new thing that could come in that is also something i'm getting for pile three that's all i'm getting for you pile three thank you guys for watching and i hope that you guys are well wherever you are in the world